Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Pumpy Mix Quickums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue and conclude my first look mini-series on Spellweaver. If you guys haven't won a code yet, feel free to comment once again, ladies and gentlemen, because, again, it's only one code per person, so commenting a second time. If you already want a code, you can still do that, and I appreciate that, but you don't need to. But still feel free. Anyway, anyone who hasn't won a code yet in comments, you will be entered in to win uh, the final codes that I have available to you all, guys. It will be fantastic and sweet, sweet, nice. I was kind of hoping I'd be able to do a live stream like event, but my live streams are always so small, so I feel I get a little bit broader of an audience, a little bit more chance for people to win by doing it this way as opposed to the other way. Anyhow, guys and gals, this is episode four, and it's been a few days since I last played, and as you guys see, these things have actually popped back up. These are common quests, and we can actually gain rewards for them. In fact, I can accept this right now. And all I have to do is gain 95 fame to get the reward. Of 2,000 gold. Fame, I believe, is up here. It's kind of like your level thing. What is this eyeball? Ah, here we go. See fame rewards. My current level is 3, at level 4 I'll get 10,000 gold, at level 5 I'll get a starter deck reward, and I'll unlock the title of Apprentice. So, good stuff all around, folks. Good stuff all around. And then over on the other spot, I guess you can only do one quest at a time. This one was uh, win three more matches or something along those lines. So what we're going to do today is pretty much just do some quick battles. I'm going to still I'm gonna play up against the normal computer AI. I know multiplayer games are probably a lot more fun for a lot of people, but I'm already terrible at the game. I don't feel like just feeding somebody wins, you know, and make myself look extra dumb. I'll let the computer look, make me look dumb. It's better that way. That way I don't get sharked by some amazing players. But that shouldn't deter any of you from actually going and having fun with it. All right, I'm going to roll out with this. This looks like a fairly decent deck, actually, or a starting hand. So we're going to keep it. I'm going to play the Nature Shrine right now. Get our first level of nature up and running. And we could go with the Scout, or we could go with the Sunrise Fairy. I think I'm going to go with the Sunrise Fairy, actually. Oh, wait, two mana for that. Sorry, the Scout it is. <clears throat> totally knew that, guys. Totally knew that. All right, let's see if we can maybe win for once. I doubt it. They have the same type of thing that we have, so that's making me already a little bit nervous. All right, Grove Guardian gets plus one attack, plus one HP for each other elf that enters the field under your control this turn. So he's a one and one. That's all he's going to do. That's not that terrifying. All right, this will give us one mana and we'll gain the extra skill here, which is pretty nice. And we can now enter the field of battle with our Sunrise Fairy, or we could go with our Summoner Druid. Mm. I think we're going to go with the Sunrise Fairy for now. Put her on the back line, just play her, and I suppose we can attack right now and take care of this. Get ourselves one point of damage, yeah! It's going to be nice. Now the downside to attacking with our Sunrise Fairy is she only has two, or she has two attack, which is nice, but she only has one health. So even if we attack this, we actually kill off our person. It's a little disappointing. But we'll see how it all plays out. Chances are he'll attack us. It would make the most sense. Oh, he chose not to. Okay. Alright, I might actually roll out with him. But we're going to have to actually do something else first. Alright, I really like the Fey Charm. The Summoner Druid's pretty good too. The Brothers in Arm. All of these are actually really good cards. I don't want to get rid of any of them. Um, hmm. This actually kind of sucks. Uh, give me a minute, guys. i got to figure out which one I want. Uh... Each player can only have one copy of the legendary card on the field. Uh, playing a second copy destroys the first. Play with the top card of your deck revealed. If it's an elf, you may play this card as though it were in your hand. It's actually a really good card. Oh, they're, so, they're all so good right now. Making all of our elves unblockable is fantastic. Uh, the Brothers in Arms are really, really good, too. The Summoner Druid's pretty good. I mean, we could even play him right away. Ah, so many tough things. All right, we're going to do the Divine Offering on the Druid. 
Oh, so unfortunate. Alright, we're going to play this. We're going to do one to the level there. We're going to actually throw you into the field, I think. Yep, and you are an elf, I believe. Nope, you're not. Okay. You are not an elf. Shame on me for ever suggesting that you were. And we shall attack, and we shall do damage. We're going to take this guy out next turn, assuming this all works out how I'm hoping it will. And we'll see. We'll see if it actually does or doesn't. Either way, we'll have our brothers at arms as well soon. Ooh, flying. Unpleasant. Uh, we can't block with you just yet. That's okay. We'll allow you to go through. Oh, you are too... Oh, interesting. Hmm. Alrighty, well... Next up on the docket is going to be the brothers at arms. Getting played. And again, we still have no, uh... There's no sacrificial cards here. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's play that for the one mana, the one card. Good. Brothers at Arms. It gives us one additional mana. That's exactly what we need right now. There's a reason for this. So we're going to play those two. I actually don't know that I want to do that just yet. Um... You can't block, I don't think. Let me give this a shot here. Oh, is that, oh, it's only for an elf. Oh, that's a little bit weak. Alright, well, we can cancel that then. Uh, well, let's just go a little bit all in then. I think that might be okay. So we're going to go all in with our attack, and good luck. You're going to stop one of them. Alright, you're going to kill one of our brothers. Alright, that's annoying and frustrating, but at least we get an attack off before that happens. And, yeah, the brothers are down, but we have another brothers at arms that we can play eventually, so it's not the end of the world just yet. Oh, landslide. Oh, good. Two of our people get to put a card at the top of the deck. Ah, oh, jeez, it doesn't matter. I guess it's fine. Whatever. Alright, and you get to attack. Wonderful, fantastic, sweet, sweet, nice, and all that wonderful, fun stuff. Go ahead. Go ahead. Throw out your attack. Do what you do. Alright, I'm actually going to get rid of this guy. I know. It's probably a bad idea, but... Oh, no. We have no... Oh, that's so bad. Oh, that's super weak. We have no shrine cards in the top. Oh, that's so bad. All right, we can't play you. We can play you, however. All right, that's fine. And I guess that's it, so we'll stop there. If he decides to attack, we should be able to do murder. He decided not to attack. Destroy an artifact or spell. Again, not super useful for me right now. I'm going to try again. Yay for level stuff and things and junk and whatnot. All right, nature level. We're going to cast this one into... Play, and we're gonna get our gal here super amazing creature guys super amazing you guys are gonna absolutely love it we're gonna get rid of you I'm waiting for the hammer to fall guys I know it's gonna happen all right we're gonna go and attack and oh well, I suppose we just do that that I how did he end up back in my huh well that's an interesting thing I didn't think could happen okay well I learned something new Oh dear. Alright, that's totally fine. Go ahead. I done made a mistake. I done made a mistake. Alright. I'm going to put you back on the field of battle. It's fine, and we're going to all in attack over here. Yep, and we're going to bring you into the mix, and we're going to maybe almost win. Not quite, but we're close. You are pretty slow. You could attack her if she was attackable, but she's not, so deal with it. Oh no, what are you doing? Oh, okay. Like, I saw her pop up. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna block that. Nope, go ahead. Go ahead, I think we've actually got this one, folks. I think we maybe just won the entire matchup. 
All right, so all we really have to do at this point, unless I'm 100% incorrect with all my thinking and my thought processes here, are we can play these guys. We can put them into uh, play right now. And we can do the all-in, folks. The all-in is there. We're going to move you into the play, and you're going to kill her off. That's cool. And everyone else is going to die. Yep. And the all-in worked, and I was victorious! I was a superhero, and you all can rejoice and be glad that I have actually... Well, I pulled a pretty good hand there. I made a couple of mistakes, so a few silly moves that I did, but yeah, overall it wasn't bad. Alright, victory bonus times two, fame multiplier, or multiplier, sorry, but times two. Alright, so 31 fame, 172 gold, took me eight minutes to crush the fool. So there we go, and look at that. 10,000 gold because we leveled up there. And we haven't quite gained 95 fame, we gained 31 out of 95. Alright, and if we take a look over here, we played 8 out of 11. We'll get another 15,000 gold coming our way soon. All this stuff is looking pretty solid, guys and gals. Now, here's another thing I wanted to mention about decks and deck building and all that wonderful fun stuff. You don't necessarily have to build a deck that's 100% one way. So what do I mean by that? Um, I'm not really good at this, so don't think I'm going to show you like some amazing trick or something. But this is something I do know. Say you were a pretty big fan of, I don't know, uh, say you're a big fan of the, the hero here, this Na Na Naiva, I guess. Now, let's see here. Let's say you're a fan of Alexa, the Battle Maiden, alright? So you can rally peasants. If you, control, uh, if you control another creature, summon militia onto the field. Sure. Say we wanted to go with this, right? And the militia are one on one, the slowest movement. That's fine. All right, so we'll, we'll add this hero, or we'll, we'll try to play this hero. Okay, and you'll see here we have the entire collection of this particular group. But say you didn't necessarily want to just have a pure deck, you can actually pull cards from the other aspects, I believe. And you can have her as your hero with other creatures, you know. You can have a mix of, say you want to do something like this. I'm, I'm not going to keep this deck, I'm not going to play with it, but I'm just going to show you guys. Say you wanted to have the four shrines, and you wanted to have maybe, I don't know, a total of six of these. And then you wanted to come back here, and you wanted to pull the two of these in. And then, what is this? And then whatever this one is, Triangelica. Sure, Triangelica. So a few uh, special ones there, and then you wanted to pull in... How many did I pull in there? Just one order shrine? Is it, is it right click or control? I, I don't remember. There's one that you can actually drag multiples in. There we go. That was actually too many. So we'll put, we'll put 10 in there. So that's what? 10, 23 shrines right there. That tells me right there. Duh. All right. And then you can start mixing and matching. Because remember guys, most of the higher level skills or abilities, if you will, uh, we'll say creatures. Um, they use one of one particular school of magic and then one of another one, or and then any one after that. So say we only had one um, nature spell, but we had three other of the order spells. We could actually still summon all the other creatures, as long as we had at least one in there. So that's a way you can actually mix and match up. So if you like, like two different things and you're like, well, I don't want to decide on one, I have a hard time. I really prefer the order, but I also really like the... The uh, elven or the forest, ah, it's tough, it's tough, it's tough. Well, you can actually make a mixed, a mixed up and matched up a deck and actually play pretty effectively. So you could probably do that with up to three. I think anything beyond three gets a little bit too questionable as to whether or not you'll be able to actually do anything. Now, the one downside to doing it this way where you split and mix your cards is you're not always going to be guaranteed to be able to play everything you want to play right away. Say you start off and you have two or three of the shrines for the forest and you have your order characters there you can't actually play any of your order characters or any of your order creatures to actually fight until you get at least one point in your order level so it's risky but it could also be really really good if you can struggle through and make it to the late game so i don't know guys i'm not like i said i'm not very good at the whole trading card games or the collectible card games and deck building and whatnot but i do understand the basic uh 
the basic principles and whatnot, and I know what does work. I've seen things. I have played a few like games like Magic, and there's been a few others. I played uh, the Heroes of Might and Magic one as well, and eh, I'm not very good at any of them, but they are still enjoyable, and I, well, like I said, I like them. I like playing them. I just I don't play them well, I guess you could say. All right, so there we are. We have our live deck back up and running, and we're going to go, and we're going to play through one more match, I guess, and that is going to do it, guys and gals. So your final chance to win is now. So basically leave a comment. If you have one already, you can still leave a comment. That doesn't hurt me in any way, but you won't be able to win a second time. However, if you guys have been trying to win and you haven't won yet, now's your chance. Also, make sure everybody is checked back on Episode 3 to see who won. And hopefully you guys will be able to message me and get your codes. Shout out to the developers for getting this going. I believe it was Dream Reactor. and They sent me the codes for all of you. Alright, I kind of like this, so we're going to keep it as well. It's a little questionable. Oh, we get the spark of... Alright, that's cool. Can't attack, he protects a relic, and the relic protects him. So he's a relic guard, so he's a blocker essentially. Alright, that's cool. I can I can dig that. Alright, we're going to go here, we're going to get our first level of nature. And unfortunately, we don't have the mana to necessarily do this just yet. But, hmm. We can use our spark, we'll sacrifice it, and we'll get our druid actually on the field right away. It's an interesting play to do. Since you don't actually have the first turn in the game, they give you that extra mana bit to make up for it, because apparently this is an inherent disadvantage. So, there you go. Alright, what do we have available? Sharpshooter, we can't do that. We can't do you. We can't do anything right now. We're pretty much completely out of, uh, out of oomph, and he's going to be able to attack with that. It's going to be pretty disappointing. Oh my goodness. We're just getting destroyed right now. This is very unpleasant. Alright, so the order group is actually destroying us, wrecking us quite badly. I'm hoping that you fade. Sometimes you just need brute strength and heavy armor. That is heavy infantry. A might emblem gives a creature plus one attack and plus one HP. Alright, well there you go. Is it our turn to shine again? It is. And we're going to have to get ourselves some mana and skill points there. Okay, so we have the skill point. Uh, what is this thing? The Tornado Outbreak. Return a creature to its owner's hand. Can I play this? What? Oh. Hmm. I didn't mean to get mana that time around. That's my bad, guys. I'm sorry. I actually messed up there. That's okay, I guess. Alright, well, we can go here. And, oh, you have a range to town. Good, wonderful. Super sweet, sweet, nice. Yeah, no, we're going to let you go. That is not great at all for us. Okay, we can cast another one of you out onto the field of battle. I didn't realize that they entered the field with uh, Swift out there already. I kind of... Ugh, this is so bad again. Um, Alright, we have two trance. We're going to sacrifice one to hopefully get some mana, i.e. a level. Which is going to give us a little bit of an edge, in theory. Alright, so one nature level. That'll allow us to use Tornado Outbreak, which is going to let me put that away. And that is going to allow me to... Oh, you'll be able to block, and I will not be able to kill you. Oh, that's super weak. Well, or is it? It might not be as weak as I think it is. Alright, well now, we can at least take you out, and if you do block... You're going to end up getting killed either way. So, I'll take it. That's a, kind of a net win overall. Alright, the attack is going, and you're down. Alright, the unfortunate reality is that's not going to help us too much. He's still going to be able to attack pretty much with a reckless abandon. And that guy's on the field now, the Master Tactician. Yeah, we're done. There's no way to actually stop that either. Alright, so our amazing Archer of Doom, completely annihilated. And apparently the strength, um, whatever, is now on you. What's this thing called again? The Might Emblem. So the Might Emblem is now out and available. That's not great. And we're still having some issues. This is not good. 
Okay, um... Well, hmm. We can do this. And you are a hero that we could play if we had the mana, which we don't. I think we're going to get destroyed this time around, guys. So you guys can point at me and laugh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the order group, pretty ridiculously powerful creatures. Yeah, we're uh, we're done. There's no way we survive this. It's a little humorous at like how amazing they are. Wow, they have the like the perfect starting hand. That is absolutely insane. All right, we're gonna get rid of you. Some more mana, thank God. All right, what do we need? We actually need another level, I think. Uh, nature level. Okay, so we can play you. And that's about it. That's like the only thing we can actually do. And it's still not going to be enough. Angelic Might, oh my gosh. So strong. Oh, and they're going to kill my hero. Oh man, they're going to kill my little treant dude too. That's pretty weak. Alright, nasty damage. We just actually got killed immediately and that's that. So, the order, fantastically well played. I gotta say, I'm impressed. Maybe you guys should actually consider going with the order. Like, I don't think... Had I done everything 100% right, I'm sure I did a lot of stuff wrong. I don't think I could have won that. That was way too RNG uh, heavy against me there. They just got like the perfect combination of stuff to crush me. Still, I did manage to gain 7 fame and 43 gold, and I got beaten in less than 6 minutes. Eh, that's a little bit sad. Anyway, folks, I think that is going to do it for this miniseries. I will be playing Spellweaver on and off. So maybe, uh, maybe once I feel like I'm at least a little bit decent, I'll start playing some multiplayer, and if I do... There may be an occasional stream on it, though there's no guarantee of that. But you may face up against me, and when you crush me, you can always point at me and laugh. I am okay with this, folks. Anyway, that's pretty much it, like I said, for this particular uh, series. I hope you guys enjoyed, and don't forget to leave a comment if you want to win yourselves 100,000 gold uh, from the developers and from me here at The Freak Show. If you guys enjoyed, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, share it. And I will see you guys again next time with another first look. Until then, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>